Egypt on high alert for expected protests. Protests against Egypt's dictatorship are likely to begin late Monday, with officials putting the nation on high alert in preparation of anti-government demonstrations, according to a security source. Each of the country's main squares and streets has been swarmed by both uniformed and plainclothes security personnel. Additionally, security officers have been sent to the transit system in an attempt to apprehend potential protesters, the source said on the condition of anonymity. According to the source, state security officials have ordered mayors in the south and rural regions to prohibit any gatherings. It comes after Egyptian whistleblower Muhammad Ali released a video on YouTube on August 29 asking on Egyptians to go to the streets on September 20 to protest what he called President Abdel Fattah al failures. Sisi's protests are anticipated to take place along the Nile River in Cairo. Instructions for the demonstrations, also disclosed by Ali, have been uploaded with hashtags, requesting that demonstrators erase their phone's data and stroll down the Nile in a show of support. When all the impoverished people of the province of Egypt have chosen to pass via the Nile, they will shut it down, he warned, referring to Sisi's inability to halt Ethiopia's filling of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam that may cause Egypt's water crisis. Ali also urged residents of coastal cities to take a stroll by the water. The situation was monitored by a combined operation space with top officials from the Interior Ministry and the Egyptian Intelligence Services and a division of cybercrime. Authorities have banned local and satellite TV stations loyal to the government from discussing any potential protests or meetings, while internet trolls have countered calls for demonstrations using social media platforms. In 2013, temporary President Adli Mansur approved the anti-protest legislation, which prohibited meetings and demonstrations without the authorities' prior written permission. Hundreds of activists have been arrested or sentenced to jail since then.